Hey everybody, so this is a quick one on using this spreadsheet which I'll upload to see you learn. It's called Graph Format Macros and you'll note that the suffix on the file is XLSM and this M means that macros are enabled. It's just a security feature so if you use spreadsheets uh, with macros you want to make sure you save them as at this, with this form. So to access these macros, you want to make sure that the developer tab is enabled. And in this case, it's not. So I can select anywhere here. I'm going to right click and customize the ribbon and click the developer so that that appears. So now when I go to the developer window, I can go into Visual Basic. And Visual Basic is simply a, a programming language. And within this file, I've got within graph format macros, um, this spreadsheet I've got down in here I've got two different modules and the first is if I double click this it'll show you the actual code and this is some code I wrote to, to actually format the graph itself so if you have the graph selected and you want to do a quick format of it um, this macro will run and it'll just go down sequentially and you can if you're interested you can go through and, and tinker with it and see what each of these commands does um, I've also got one called Format Presentation, and in this case it makes the numbers real big, the icons real big, and uh, it's a real nice default format if you're going to use presentations in your class. Um, so to get out of this macro mode, I can hit um, the hotkey Alt-Q, and if I want to get back into it, I can hit the hotkey Alt-F11. It'll bring me back and forth. So if you do a lot of coding, those are a couple of quick hotkeys for you. Um, so let's back out of this. And let's say you've got um, a spreadsheet and you don't have the macros loaded in it, but you want to run them. And you want to be able to send it to your friend who can, can run it uh, on her machine. So we're going to go File, and I'm going to open a document. And this is a, a document that does not contain a macro at all. So I'm going to open that up. And now when I go Individual Basic, I look in here and... I'll close these windows a little bit, but here's the graph format macros that I'll have on CU Learn. And within that, it does have the two modules, the two macros that we want to run. And if I want to put these into the other spreadsheet, I'll just grab them and click it down here. Grab this one and drag it down. And now within these other spread spreadsheet, I, I do have the macros accessible to me. So I'll back out of this and I'll go into my other spreadsheet. And at this point, I need to save it as that new macro enabled format. So I'm going to go in the drop down menu I'll say Excel macro enabled so it goes XLSM for macro and then click save on that. So now in my new spreadsheet if I want to plot um, let's just do a quadratic for example and we'll just go from 1 to 10 and this will be Y to the second power and drag that down and even without this graph macro, graph format macros open. Um, by the way, what I did was control tab. If you want to switch between spreadsheets really quickly, uh, it's a handy way to go back and forth. Um, so let's leave it on this graph format macros, and I'll close that out. And now let's not save it. So now I'm in this spreadsheet called other spreadsheet, and if I hit Alt F11, I do have those macros available to me now in this spreadsheet. So I'm going to hit Alt Q. And I'm going to make a graph real quick. Insert a chart. And I'll go like this. And let's do one to the third power. So let's put this series in here. So I'll select this column. I'll hold Control down. Select that. I'll copy it. And I'll go Paste Special. And a new series. And I want the X values in the first column. So I'll click that and click OK. So here it enters my, my other series. So now let's run the macro. Um, with the chart selected, I can go in the Developer tab, and I can click Macros, and that'll bring up this menu and allow me to run the macro that I want to run. Alternatively, I can hit Alt F8 to bring that to bring this window available. So I'll run this. We're going to format document for a presentation. And I'm going to click this. Let's say we don't want a legend. And let's just format this again. Let's say we don't want to have markers and let's say a solid line and then I'll just click this one and I'll turn the markers off here and I'll make that a solid line. So in this case we've got actually got access titles that'll appear they don't appear by default in the default 
uh, chart. But here I'm going to grab this, and another trick is when I, I've clicked it, I've got the control key held down, and I'm going to let go of my mouse. And it made a copy of that graph. It's just a quick way to copy and paste. So I can grab it and hit control, and I can make all sorts of them. And I'm going to hit control Z to back out of that. Let's say this one here, I want to format it for a presentation. So I'm going to hit Alt F8 and run this version of it. And I'm going to use control in the mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit so you can see it. But it's got this nice large chart, and uh, your audience will be able to see it real quick if you do if you do a presentation. But again, let's get rid of the markers. Let's call it a solid line, and get rid of these, and call it a solid line. So now we'll just save it up, and we've got our presentation and our document version.